If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe and bell icon for more videos. Peace out, guys. Now, second question I get often is, how much should I put a price, should I put a card up for if I just pull him? And, you know, the issue is, is that a lot of players, you want to see a certain price for players because they have a market value. They have a set value at that position because of other cards at those positions. Now, if there's no set value because of whatever reason, let's say that card doesn't have a set value because there's not too many cards on the market of that card, then obviously that's when people run into an issue. Now, the issue I've seen a lot is Chris Carter. If we go ahead and actually, what is this? Oh. Series 1 master, my bad. I did not see that Mario Cooper before, so. If we go ahead and look at Chris Carter, he is a great example of a set value. So, he's he does not have a set value. So, as you see, 750, probably won't sell. 780, probably won't sell. 805, 2.37. And if you look at Mudhead, which Mudhead is a great website to kind of give a ballpark of what he's actually going for. Mudhead actually has him for, let me actually check his price, his most recent price. So his most recent price, according to Mudhead, is actually going to be about 635k to about, let's say roughly about 670. So kind of in that ballpark is how much he's going for. Now because he doesn't have a set value, this is kind Kind of where you have to kind of maneuver yourself quickly and kind of at the same time, you know, smartly. So you see the price right now is 635. Oh, well, let me I actually can show you guys real fast. Hang on. Um, let me put up display capture. There we go. So you see right here, and I can zoom in too. Hang on, guys, one second. Okay, there we go. Alright, so this is the price of him in the last, let's say, about was it five days? You can see this is the price he sells for. So what should you market this or what should you uh, put this card up for? I would say probably roughly. I put him up for as you can see right here. Actually, let me update. I actually do not know why it says none of up. I guess none of this tier is up. But right now, as you can see, uh, those cards I have right now up are about 750. So I'd probably put this card up for about 725. I'd undercut my opponent a little bit, but not too much. You do not want to lose coins because you undercutted, you know, your you undercutted the person too much. But at the same time, because there's no set value, you want to be uh, just below the person to a point where it's like, okay, it's not too crazy value. But at the same time, you know, I'm not losing too many coins. So that's going to be how you sell cards that are expensive and have no set value, guys. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.